Foreclosures accounted for more than one out of four home sales during the first three months of this year, according to Realty Track. These homes sold for an average of $161,000. Get this, 27% below the average price for a non distressed home. So the price is right for many first time buyers. But foreclosures require a lot more work before you get the keys. You really need to do more due diligence than you would in a normal situation where a seller is giving you all of the knowledge that they've had about the property. That's because with a foreclosure, the seller isn't a person, it's a bank. And the foreclosure crisis has overwhelmed banks that didn't have the manpower to deal with it. So while buyers may feel pressure to move quickly on what looks like a great deal, the bank may not move with the same urgency. The banks who own these properties run by their own process, okay? So they're not timely in giving answers. They're not timely in giving responses back to requests for repairs. They're not timely in even set scheduling and setting closings. You have to be very patient. The problem may get worse. Analysts expect another wave of foreclosures to hit the market following a $26 billion settlement related to foreclosures that were robo-signed without proper verification. And if all the paperwork isn't right, things can go way wrong. In one extreme case, a Mississippi woman bought a foreclosed home and spent thousands of dollars on renovations. I have had a new roof put on it. I have all new electrical in it. I have had plumbing done to it. Only to get a nasty surprise. She's like, well, I don't know quite how to tell you this, but we might have sold you the wrong house. The house she really bought was next door on a lot half the size and full of mold. The real estate company didn't respond to our request for a comment. So key things on a foreclosure. Don't get into a bidding war. Many foreclosures get multiple offers. Set your price you're comfortable with and stick to it. Triple check the bank's records and public property records to make sure all the key info matches. Get the home thoroughly inspected for structural issues. And since you're not dealing with the previous owner, go a step further. The neighbors know everything you need to know about that property. So make sure that you visit at least three neighbors and ask them questions about the property. What do you know about the property? Who lived there? Why did they move? If everything checks out, you might wind up with a great deal on a place to live in or rent out. But remember, part of the deal is going to be some elbow grease on your part. So be ready to roll up your sleeves and get to work.